Okay, back to the program here. We've got a really super hot, super fun uh, humankind stream. It's going to be quick. We're going to hit some stuff. The only thing I'm going to talk about is the stability interface on uh, humankind for each for a, a couple city. I'll show I'll uh, show you a couple of uh, um, potential cases that show up, and I'll show you how to easily, quickly get the excess stability that, that you need to know so that you can play the game. Uh, and decide what uh, what uh, quarters to build, what, what things to build in your city, so that you don't get your uh, stability under 100, uh, under 100%. So let's keep going. I'll jump right in. Here we are at here we are at Star City. Uh, you look at my my stability, and it's got a whole bunch of information there. It's all great. I've got another uh, stream out there, and I, and uh, I ran that over to YouTube that de details a lot of these numbers. But if you're looking for the excess stability, in other words, how much stability over 100 do I have to play with? If you look at this thing, you have no freaking idea. But the easy way to do this uh, on uh, at least this version, which is version 1.0.02.0132, uh, which is as of September 2021. 20, I'm assuming they're going to fix this interface here at some point. Uh, but until then, uh, I'm looking at Star City. The thing you need to do, the thing you need to know is you look at a city and uh, you, some cities have... Um, Stability as a base value under gains. If your city has stability under base value as gains, I'll show you how to figure out what the excess stability is, and it's pretty simple. Uh, in this case, for Star City, I do have 22 as stability as base value. The excess stability that I have is going to be 40 minus 22. Why do they do it that way? I have no freaking idea, but 40 minus 22 is 18. So I've, I've got uh, 18 excess stability, so I could build uh, one market quarter which costs 10 and my stability will go down and my uh, the important thing is my stability will still be over 100 when I build a second market quarter I've used up 20 stabilities I've only got 18 and I'll be at 98% uh, stability but I'll show you here real quick so right now I'm looking at um, Star City I've got the case is I've got uh, a Stability of 100%. My gains has a stability as base value. Stability as base value, and that's 22. 40 minus 22 is 18. I'm going to build a market quarter. Uh, that costs 10 stability, so I will have this stability as base value will go up to 32 after I hit the intern button. So let me go ahead and do that. In turn, and right our next turn, we go up here. Stability as base value is now 32 which doesn't tell me jack diddly squat, but if I take 40 minus 32, that means I've got eight excess stability. So uh, in the case where you have 100% stability and there's a value under gains called base value, you take 40 minus that value and that's your excess stability. Now let's look at the uh, second case. I'm gonna load back in uh, that exact same game right there. Um, and so uh, the load game takes a little bit of time, but uh, not more than a, a, uh, not more than uh, 30 seconds, maybe. Um, the city, the other case I'm going to look at now is the city where there's no base value under the gains, that the base value is under the losses section. So I'm going to go to a city called Rotterdam over here in the New World. Lovely, lovely city. Uh, look at it. Uh, doesn't have any districts yet. I click on Rotterdam, I go to the uh, stability, I look under gains, that base value is not there. I look under losses, the base value is there. Now in this case, the base value is negative 16, and since the stability, since the base value is entered under losses, instead of taking 40 minus that, like you did in the previous example, you just take the negative of this value. So for this city, since the base value is under losses, it's negative 16, the negative of a negative 16 is 16, so I've got 16 um, excess stability. So I can build a, a farmer's quarter and my stability will still be 100%. The second farmer's quarter I built will take another 10 off and then I'll be uh, at 96%. I think. Yeah, if my calculations are correct. Um, so I'll show you. I'll run this uh, turn here real quickly. I'm building a farmer's quarter. That costs 10 stability. You can see that in the example here. I run the turn. I Amsterdam. I built two market quarters there. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, I built two. I had, I had a 16, a uh, negative 10 from the district, and I also had um, uh, plus two from water, so I only lost eight. So my stability, instead of going from 16 to 6, went from 16 down to 8. Um, sorry, so negative 16 down to negative 10. Um, so now I have 10 excess stability. I can build another. I can build another market quarter or uh, uh, farmer's quarter, and my stability would still be at 100 percent here. So that is the second case. The first case was you look at your stability, and there's a, a base value under gains. The second case is you look at your stability, and there's a base uh, value under losses. Why they do it that way, I have, I have no, again, no freaking idea, but that's how they do it. We're going to look at the third case here. I'm going to reload the start of that game. Uh, and we'll look at a case where the stability is under 100%. And in that case, uh, you can see some stuff. Um, in this case, I'm going to look at a, a, uh, the, the city of Amsterdam. The stability on Amsterdam is 86. So we know we don't have any excess stability. We, we know we've got uh, six, or sorry, 14 uh, negative stability, or stability deficit. Let's go over to Amsterdam here. Beautiful, beautiful city. Uh, sitting on there on this, on this big uh, kind of half island thing. So my stability is 86, uh, and you can see that um, there's, no, there's nowhere is it listed that you need to add 14 stability to get to 100%, but you should be able to do that uh, arithmetic in your head. This is super weird because now the gains has a stability value of 40. I just told you that you take the stability value under gains and subtract it from 40. In this case, you'd get zero. Uh, that works if the stability is 100% or more. Now that in this case, the stability is less than 100, uh, it's true you have zero excess stability, but you can also figure out that you have uh, 86, 100 minus 86, or you have 14 uh, deficit stability. Uh, so why they pick 40 as the place to stop counting excess stability, I don't know. It's, again, I've said no freaking idea a bunch of times now. I'm assuming this is going to get fixed in a, uh, a patch in the future. Uh, I probably should, shouldn't say fixed, I should say uh, improved. Um, so if you've, got a, you've got a gains of 40 in the base value, uh, the base value of 40 in the gains. Um, that means that the stability is less than 100, so you need to go figure out your, your, deficit, your stability deficit and then go in and um, uh, correct it. So here, I'm building the commons quarter. Uh, that should give me, I've got two adjacent farmers quarters, so that should give me plus 10 stability. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this and then go to the next turn. Or maybe if I buy it, yeah, there we go. So I've got a plus 10 stability on this thing that I just built because I have two, I have a farmer's quarter and a maker's quarter, so that's uh, plus five for each. So now instead of 86, I've got 96. The stability is, uh, the base, stability as base value under gains is still 40 because your um, total stability is still less than 100%. Now if this, well anyway, we'll figure out what's going on in the future. Those are the three cases I wanted to uh, show the results of my uh, long investigation of what the heck is going on here. There are three cases. The stability is 100% and there's a value under gains for base value. You take 40 minus that value, that's your excess stability. The second case is your stability is 100. There, there's a value of, there's a base value under the losses. You take the negative of that value, that's your excess stability. The third case is your uh, stability is under 100%. In that case, you can figure out by 100 minus whatever your stability is. That's your deficit stability. And sometimes there's a 40 under gains for base values. Sometimes there's not. I'm not sure why. So anyway, that's it. Uh, I wanted to make this quick. Bang the thing out. Uh, everybody's great. If you've, if you've done any tests on this and come up with different values, let me know. Um, if, if you've got more, if you can figure out why they did it, let me know. If you can tell me... Uh, another case that I that uh, I haven't stumbled across yet. Let me know. Anyway, I will see you guys later.